Okay, for this particular video, I'm gonna talk about stop loss. Where is the ideal stop loss that we are going to uh, place? And uh, not only that, uh, I will be also tackling the exact location of entry price. But before that, I'm gonna discuss what I'm going to discuss is the the patterns that is currently showing on the chart. As you can see. The uh, pattern that we had is the bot pattern, this one. And the other pattern is the cipher pattern. And just for the sake of uh, transparency, I have measured this each and every one of them. So uh, for your references, you may, you could, uh, you could also measure it so that you will know the, if what I'm, uh, drawing what if if the pattern is really valid or not now for the pattern sake we all know uh, it gives me the idea of directions that the the price will go up until this point uh, then the confirmation of that is it's because of this cipher pattern that it, it has just formed and currently it's now on the level that's going to to reverse the direction but the question is where are we going to put our stop loss and where at what price are we going to put our entry so here is what i did so to this uh, uh trade in fact i'm currently i this is on my watch list so what i am um, Using is the market checker that I have combined, a program that I've combined. And if you're using MT4 or other uh, platform, you could also use the Fractual. This is uh, telling you, uh, this is a tool that telling you that there is a market rejection. So I'm going to turn on the market checker right now. Okay, here. As we could see that on the 4-hour chart, this is the 4-hour chart, we could see a price rejection already. This one. Uh, so, mean to say, if the price is rejected, then uh, there is a possibility that uh, it will go up. It is the start of the reversal. Now, since I have, it already give me the 4 hours rejection price, what I do is I go to 1R. Okay. Uh, this is currently the 1R and uh, the chart is still loading, but we are just going to take a look on this area. So in the 1R chart, I could see, if we're going to make this bigger, I could see the rejection over here. It has already twice. The price rejection on a one hour chart, it gives already two price rejection. So if ever I see one of that, what I'm going to wait is the rejection on the opposite side, which is this mark, this uh, price. Now, once I got this one like this, I already have the rejection of the down and I do have the rejection on the up. What I'm going to do now, I would know where exactly I will put my entry price, which is uh, to trade on this kind of uh, on this kind of chart and this kind of uh, price action. I'm going to trade. I'm gonna put my entry price above on the rejection. There. That is my entry price, and my stop loss will be below. The rejection over here that one so meaning to say meaning to say uh, I already plotted a structure based entry and a structure based stop loss so what does this mean if the price will go continually up and break this rejection that means it's a confirmation that the possibility will now the possibility of change direction or change trend will now go up and if 
uh, the price will not break on this rejection, then still the trend is going down. As long as it will not hit my entry price, then uh, my trade is still safe. Meaning to say, I have not put an, a trade for that uh, price. So, here it is. The benefit of this is you could calculate your uh, your risk. Here, uh, what you're going on this chart, and what you can see on this chart, you could see the I'm risking 29 pips already. So, uh, if I'm going to trade $1 per pip, then I'm going to risk $29. And my trade will start as soon as we'll hit my entry price. Now, for my take profit, of course, I get I got the support and resistance, which is on this side, and that's equivalent to one point. Uh, 618 and that's about 55 pips meaning to say I risk 29 but yet I I'm getting a take profit of 55 pips that's more than half that's more than a one-to-one -one ratio so it's a good ratio for you for you to take the thing now that's normally uh, that's normally how I take my trade but of course, again, as a new trader, you know, I could not see that I'm, uh, although I have two years of experience already, still, as this is one of my common mistakes. Uh, I don't uh, use this kind of uh, trading for the reasons of a lot of reasons. But uh, to be safe, it's better to practice this structure-based stop loss and structure-based and three point. If you do have questions or if you have strategy in putting your entry price or putting your stop loss, please comment below. Thank you very much.